Hey everyone, how's it going? You know, I was building these, well that's what I'm doing, I'm building extensions for my uh, fifth wheel trailer and I didn't video any of it. <laughs> I can just remind, remind myself now, you know, I didn't video none of this. So, I'll take you, give you a rundown on what I did. So I've got a lot of this two and seven eighths, two and three eighths, whatever. And it's the smaller pipe than I usually use. I bought a whole bunch of it this time. So I was thinking, what can we, what could I do just to make this trailer a little bit wider that would make it easy to uh, put this on instead of making a whole rack on it. So what I came up with was these square tubing and I cut a notch in them and I put them down and then Lori came up with the idea to uh, fasten them down with a U-bolt so we went to uh, our local machine shop Allen's Welding and they made us some some brackets and that uh, pretty hefty they didn't need to be that heavy but better to have overkill than underkill but uh, so now basically I just take these off and I cut this in half and what happens is you just take the U-bolts out and this just pops out and you can put it away. Um, what I did for the back is I wanted it to be extended so I could fit my last bale on the back because usually the last bale ends up over here and I don't have enough room because this trailer is only 28 feet. My new trailer is 30 feet so it uh, takes the last bale easy on there. And this, with this trailer, you're almost wasting because you've got so much space, but yet you can't put that last bail on. So anyway, on the back here, I came up with this idea to put this square tubing that I had left over from my fork that I built, bail spear. And uh, came up there, welded that there, and extended it out to here. So I was going to leave it just extend it out there but this smaller pipe it bends it can bend so I just took some sucker rod and braced it so uh, yeah what I did with the back instead of welding the back pipe on is I came up with the idea of just bolting it on so this way when we uh, unbolt it that'll come out and you know you get the idea so right now we're just sanding it down because I want to put my reflective stickers on and I want to put them all on the side and on the back so uh, I kind of want to get that rust off before I paint it this tra whole trailer needs a paint job too but uh, we're just gonna do a quick paint job it's not gonna be anything special there because you know I wanted the back really good but I just want to get that off there and put some paint on so I could get the, the stickers to stick better. So this is pretty dry already, I could do that. So I'll probably end up doing this and then uh, uh, once we get her done we're going to go for a load. Sean's already, Sean's been hauling for like two days already, four days so I wanted to, I was kind of rushing on this to get it done. Uh, Use my little Century welder again because my other welding cables wouldn't reach. They only reach this side and I couldn't reach this side. So I welded everything with uh, with this guy. Just cranked it right up, max. And it's a little bit he too heavy for welding, but I put a lot of beads on. So it should be, uh, it should be all right. Weld it all around too. It don't take long for it to rust. We just had a shower and it's all rusted again. Okay. Well, we're getting her sanded down pretty good.
super color. Pay a little bit more for this paint because it sprays nice. But I've got the first coat on on the sides. Now the extensions are going to look better than the trailer. And I got my stickers on the back. Collective stickers. Looks pretty good. I need uh, another sticker. But I ran out, so but I got some more in the shop. Now I'm going to finish uh, a little bit off the side here. So much better than those cheap cans. It's a finer paint too. That uh, that cheap one was coming out really thick. I shouldn't say finer paint. Thinner paint. That's nice. I'll just do a second coat over it and I'll be done. Well, I ran into a problem that I didn't see coming. I can't crank down my trailer because the pipe's in the way. So I got my cutter here rigged up and we're going to cut it. There, problem solved. I should have done the snap in the fingers. Snap. <laughs> ah, I just took my chop saw, set it on there, chopped her off, and then I ground uh, the edges off so there now now we can crank it even got it really nice and smooth so if your hand hits there it won't chop it off so okay we're gonna hook this trailer back up because I didn't have it hooked up while I was welding I didn't want no electricity flow through her Well, we're out in the field now. Sean's gonna load her up. Yeah, right on. Perfect. Could have had that one on a little bit more, but it's his first time. We took off the bale spear from our other our 2290 loader and put it on this one the other one off there was too the spears are too thick these ones are they're, oh, they're uh, a lot thinner but they're shorter that's a bad thing
I think with this one, it's better to load from each side instead of... Uh, well, actually, that's the drawback of that spear being shorter, is we can't reach right across as easy as we could anymore. I might just rebuild the fork one day. The bad thing when he does it like that is we used to push him across, but now that pipe is in the way, kind of, we'll see, well, yeah. We'll see what happens. Alfalfa's doing good here, wherever it grew. It didn't grow everywhere here. Like along, all along here, it didn't come up as good. It's actually more alfalfa here than, than I thought. But an alfalfa timothy mix here with brome so it's pretty good hay i think probably the mx-135 would probably load better it's got a longer reach Well, I do know that I'm going to have to make a brace in the middle going to that hitch on the trailer because I can see my pipe is bending a little bit. So, yeah, I'm going to have to make a brace there. But other than that, it worked out really nice. Well, both trailers loaded and we're ready to roll. So I am going to have to do a little modification on that to make it a little stiffer in the back. This trailer is fine because it's 30 feet. This trailer is 28 so that's why I got it extended out the back. But This one's got the pipe extension too but it only comes out about a foot. So I like this trailer better. It's got nicer lights. Spread out axle there. Load Max. This is an SWS trailer. This was our first trailer we had. It's been a good trailer though. Can't complain. Alright, Sean's walking back. We need a third person on the tractor there. Maybe Dad will do it tomorrow. Well, I'm back at the trailer. And we unloaded the bales and funny thing was is uh, the pipe just popped back up so when we seen that I found out what was happening well I already welded this here this is what was happening on this side I'll show you where I haven't welded it that slot I cut in there is what is happening is we seen the, this was had overspray of paint on here what was happening is when the bale was putting pressure on here and then this brace was pushing down it was making this slide up on here because there's a gap right here so it was making it slide on there so what i came up with is to put a almost like a wedge in there and since this uh steel is not very thick i'm putting another cross piece on there so it it can't bend it it was actually bending it there 
So I'm gonna, well, just like I did on this side. So what I did was I had a piece of, ouch, that's hot. Piece of metal there, welded it on there, and then I cut off this old uh, disc shaft from an old disc. And I just put it in there as a stopper. So now it can't, it can't wanna, the weight won't push it up. So she'll stay where it is. So I got the jack on there, it's leveled out. And that's where it's gonna stay. So I am going to uh, get the other side welded. And uh, I'm gonna go for another load here quick before the sun goes down. Uh, I'm still planning to put a brace across here, but I want to go get another load just to see how this works here and uh, Kind of do a little testing There, got that welded. So that'll stop it from sliding forward. And that'll give it some strength on there for the down pressure. Um, kind of thinking now, I kind of would wish I would have made something that would have extended on here too. But I think that'll be fine. It kind of sucks because it's at an angle over the ramp here, but what I really would have been nice to do is cut this off here and make something really strong there, and then I would have put that there, but I think this will suffice. Yeah, let's go uh, run back and get another load. I heard Sean go by, so we're going to go get another load. Well, got another load on. Sean just finished loading me. He's firing up his truck. I like that trailer better. It's got nicer lights on it. Anyway. Yeah, so that fix did her good. She's staying straight now. So she ain't gonna fly out of there. Well, not fly out of there, but she ain't gonna... See, this... this uh, metal was too thin and it was actually sinking in there because this is not very wide but she's she's in there good now and uh, she's staying straight so I still gotta put a, a piece in the middle there to that hitch and that'll keep her uh, from flexing there too so anyway that's all for today so that's uh, kind of the video on that uh, 
trailer extensions I made. I kind of wish I would have had uh, a video on it when I first began it, but I got to go catch Sean because he's closing the gate. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and uh, click like for the video and leave all your comments down below. I'll answer them all.